Boom. Here we are. We're looking at Superman, Peace on Earth. This is such a big format comic right here that I can't even fit it all on the screen at once. So I get situated here and talk about this. This is by Alex Ross and Paul Dini. Paul Dini, famous for writing for Batman the Animated Series. I don't know if he's famous for that, uh, but he did. He wrote for it. Alex Ross, of course, of Marvel's Kingdom Come fame. And this is one of his lesser known comic book works. You know, this is a labor intensive way to make a comic book. There's a reason why this can't really exist outside of a few times that he's done it. Um, he probably makes more money by just painting these superheroes and selling those paintings and licensing the prints and things like that, I would imagine, because that's what he does. Um, but this, I think when you think about Christmas and comic books, you don't usually think of anything, really. There's not any well-known comic book works that are about Christmas. But I think this one should be more well-known. It's, it's not exactly a super heroic tale. It's more about Superman helping people, bringing peace on Earth, if you will. That's kind of cool. Um, you can see it's very Christmas-themed and very amazing. Um, some really iconic poses, of course, like Alex Ross is known for. And it's mostly just him sort of narrating about what he does and where he goes. But this isn't as well known as Marvel's or Justice, even. It's another one that he painted over somebody else's pencils. But, uh, you know, or Kingdom Come, those, those comic books that he's really, Alex Ross is really well known for at least in the comic book world. When I wanted to show a comic book to my father-in-law, who hadn't read comic books since he was a kid, and when he did, he only read like classics, illustrated comic books. He didn't read superheroes. This is what I showed him. I, I pulled this out in this format, large, and I said, hey, check this out. And this isn't typical of the comic book today. Even painted comic books aren't this detailed. They don't look like a Norman Rockwell painting, right? Because that's what essentially Alex Ross is doing is this classic illustration, this classic painting, and he's taking his time to do this amazing detail, really bringing you into the world of this sort of quasi-1950, you know, anywhere from the 1940s to the 1960s, is represented in this time period of these paintings. And I think you see just how special this work is. So if you haven't checked this out, Superman Peace on Earth, I highly recommend you do. Um, it's a really good example of the, especially if you can find it in this, this big format, you can see sort of the majesty of his paintings. When you shrink them down, they don't quite look as epic. But in this big format, it really does come across as, as impressive. Um, that being said, I think most of Alex Ross's co comic book work, I think the best things about them are the, the feelings of nostalgia that they bring. Both Marvel's and Kingdom Come. Less Kingdom Come, but still, they, they evoke this sense of what we read in the past what we remember comics to be. They're not exactly, narratively speaking, works that are, are well-remembered for the elements of the story. Um, especially Marvel's is seen through the eyes of a reporter, Phil Sheldon, who is seeing the Marvel universe unfold. And here we have, as the screen goes away, I don't know why it does that, uh, anyways, I digress. The point is, here in this story, we don't even have that narrative going. It's just Superman talking and trying to do his best to not just use his powers to, uh, 
you know, his failure to be able to use his powers to bring peace on earth because man is inherently sinful. That's the real truth. But he does inspire people and you, you sort of end on this very Rockwell-esque painting of people from all over the world. And here's Superman. He's looking down on the world, uh, not in a condescending way, but this is the world that I'm part of. And I've become a part of, I think. Um, it's, it's fantastic. There's a n bunch of other similar things that Paul Dini and Alex Ross wrote with different characters, Batman, Wonder Woman, Captain Marvel, the real Captain Marvel, and the Justice League. And you can see that these paintings are fantastic. Just really amazing. Not all of them are Christmas themed, but they sort of have that same element of being about the grand nature of superheroes um, and what they represent, which I think ultimately Alex Ross is able to capture that, right? The idea of the superhero. Some people are, are more able and to, to capture action in comic books, to display a, a story uh, with the, these great images. But somehow Alex Ross manages to capture what we think superheroes are in our brains. Like when I see this Justice League one, I remember the Justice League comics from the, the Silver Age that I read as a kid. I wasn't a kid when the Silver Age happened, but you get what I'm saying. Those comics that I found in the library, other places, and read... Uh, Green Lantern here, the Martian Manhunter. This, the look of this, somehow captures what I remember those comics to be, even though they're not done to this degree. They're not this detailed. Um, the grand nature of it, the epic scale. I think that's what Alex Ross captures the most when it comes to these works. And um, it's just a real treat when you get something like this from a master because he really is a master, but he can't produce these things all the time. And so the ones that we do have, we should look at and we should cherish them as uh, the iconic pieces of work that they are, even if the stories aren't as it's good. There's a poster there. Pretty neat. Uh, but I recommend these. If, if you want to get the bang for your buck, this one's probably going to be your best, but I don't even know if this is available. I've never seen at anywhere else don't know if it was a special promotional item or what but it is uh it's really amazing to see that and i like to to pull that out to show people that aren't familiar with comic books because this really is a good way to say you know they're familiar with superman they're familiar with with this character the iconic character whether it's through a movie or just his pervasiveness and culture and so you want to show them like hey this is what a comic book can be um when somebody that wants to do it this way, does it this way. Not all comics need to be this way or can be this way. But I think there's something special about these Alex Ross comics. And I think this exemplifies that to a certain degree, just in the way that it captures that nostalgia. And I think that's what he does best. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments. Have you ever seen these? Have you ever read these? Are you familiar with this? And uh, what were your thoughts on it? Are there Christmas comics that you guys like that you have read over the years? I don't know. You let me know. Bye. Explosion! <laughs>